a breaker.
These will fix him up, and then we ride out of here, head north, like he said. Deacon St. John, you there? Deke, this is Ricky. Over. Damn it, I can't let her know I'm out here. Uh, hey, Ricky? This is Deke. Uh, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Deke, where are you? I need to get... Oh, yeah. Sorry, Ricky. I don't have time for this right now. That's Deacon. Behind him! You! You! Right up the road. Make sure they don't come back. Now! Find him. What was left of him? Yeah. What was left of him? Hey, I heard gunshots. What's going on? We had a run-in with a few rippers, but I handled it. You handled it? What is it? How? I should have known. You should have known what? Jesus, Ricky, who's running security here? You know, I ask myself that shit every single day. I'm done here. Good. So what are you doing out here? What am I doing, Dick? Addie told me to come and get you. Why? What? Hold on for a second. Is Boozer okay? I don't know. We gotta go. What's wrong with Boozer? All I know is Addy told me to find you. When I asked around, I found out you and Schizo were heading up here. Now I know why. I don't know what you're talking about. The crash site? The 
medical supplies? It's no big secret, Deke. Iron Mike was negotiating with Carlos, making a deal so our camp would split it with the Rippers. Oh, bullshit! What do you mean? I mean bullshit! I was there. Half that cargo hold's already been looted. Tracks from the crash site all head south. Now, I've been dealing with the fucking Rippers for months. You can't trust a goddamn thing they say. Now you're sounding like Schizo. Schizo, he put you up to this. He told you about the crash site. <laughs> yeah, great. So now you're calling me Schizo's errand boy. No? Then how'd you find out about it? A drifter up at Copeland's camp. Like you said, it ain't no big secret. Yeah, right. Well, Schizo's been trying to pick a fight with the Rippers for months. Guess it's lucky you came along to do it for him. So let me ask you something. Can I stop you? Last time I saw you, before last winter, you told Iron Mike to go fuck himself, because he wouldn't pay you to bring in survivors. It's not exactly what happened. I remember it pretty clearly. Iron Mike said he'd have nothing to do with slavers. Okay, we never forced anyone to come in against their will. How about Tucker? Same thing true for her? I don't know. You ever think when you roll up on someone, Starving out in the shit, maybe hasn't slept in days? Reach the point where they stop running from men like you? You ever think they don't have a choice? But you took them to the hot springs just the same. Earn a few camp credits. Everybody's got a choice, Deacon. It takes us a lot, too, bringing in someone who can't work, can't earn their way. You know, you just be glad that Iron Mike isn't like you. <laughs> William. William, if you can hear me, I need you to stop. Addy, what's going on? Loser. <clears throat> Go and hold him. What the hell are you doing? Listen, what are you doing? Listen, do we need to do arm. this and we need to do this right now. You what? No. Uh, don't you, oh, don't no. you take Deacon. it. No, no. De no, you're not, no way. No, you're not gonna Deacon, do this to him. listen to me. The antibiotics will save his life, but nothing on God's earth is gonna save the arm. Now listen, I need you to help me right now, or you can just watch your friend die. Okay. Eddie, we're losing him. Wait. Deacon. All right. All right, all right. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. All right, hey, I just need you to stay Hold with him. me. Hold him there. Okay. Hold him. Deke. Deke. Okay. Hold him down right there. Okay, okay, okay. Ah! Ah! Oh, my goodness. Ah! No, no, no. He's losing too much blood. You gotta stop. He's losing too much blood. Hand me the gun. Ah! Hold him! Okay, pal, where? Where do I hold him? Just hold him right there. Stop panicking I'm and hold him. Hey. You did good in there. When I was in high school, I thought, hmm, maybe I should be a mechanical engineer. Or should I be a surgeon? I guess I should have been a surgeon. <laughs> oh. And you? Hey, hey, okay. You know, you saved your friend's life today. I don't think he's gonna see it that way. Yeah, well, I think he will. I gotta go and give him his IV drip. And you know what, I don't know where you got all this, and I don't want to know, but it's gonna save a lot of lives, Deacon St. John. A lot of lives.
I gotta go help Abby. Mike, just settle down, okay? Deacon! Get out here! I heard what you did. I wasn't about to let him die. Mike, let it go. It's done. I know that, goddammit. Who's her gonna live? I don't know. But the Ripper saw you. Followed you back. When Carlos finds out about this, there's gonna be the devil to pay. Carlos can go fuck himself! You are writing checks with other men's blood! I hope you're good with that. You did what had to be done. Mike, wait up. Hey there. Hey, Blair. How's life? <laughs> yep. Good one. Hmm, that should work. All right. Thanks so, for stopping uh, by. A couple months ago, we were up by Crazy Willie's, just scavenging. You know? I could fix this. I thought maybe it the place work. wasn't picked over. You know what we found? A bunch of kids. Just give me a sec. Let's just call them. Looking to buy, I hope. Need some gas, Deke? Ah, looks like you could use it. Yeah, good part that one. I'll be here, if you need me. Later, Deke. Lost Lake to Deacon St. John. Are you there? 
Uh, yeah, Ricky, what's up? Iron Mike says you volunteered to stick around, do some runs for the camp, but that you refused to work for Schizo. Something like that. Well, I can't say I blame you. Okay, well, I guess I'm stuck with you. So stop by the mechanic shop, and we've got a job for you. Yeah, okay, beacon up. Deacon, you there? Brian, I'm at one of your beacons. Which one? What do you mean, which one? This Nero radio has a GPS, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. I, uh, okay. Uh, you're at Olali Falls. Okay, good. Uh, keep an eye out. A field op is gonna be there any minute. O'Brien out. O'Brien? Oh, oh, God damn it. O'Brien, come in. Your friends are here. O'Brien. I told you, they're not my friends. Okay, head in on foot. Yeah, 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 I know. Well, how do we do? Uh, use one of these tracking devices. Spread out and lock this shit No, no not this time. I'm already tracking okay, this one. Get this done. Follow the researcher. And she's there to investigate an infected subject. The, the freak that was tagging a nearby cave. A cave? You want me to follow armed Nero goons into a cave? Just stay close to her. While you're in range, I can intercept her data. O'Brien! Well, I'm still working on the info you want, don't ask. Why the hell am I talking to you? O'Brien oh, out. Sound off. They're over here. All good. Looks good to me. What was that? Anyone else hear that? What the hell are we doing out here anyway? Huh? What you told? The ship. Yeah. What the hell are we doing? I heard something. Got plenty of fuel. I double checked. Jesus, this is taking forever. It's not so bad. We flew over farewell. <laughs> that was yeah, a lot of stay close there. there. Right, right open. Yeah. Man. Never got that. Easier said than done. Whole stage one, stage two, stage three. This is what it is, right? No, it's more complicated than that. Now let me... Okay. I know I'm a grunt. Before the freak show, I was a biology major. Just give me the gist. Really? Try me. Okay. We don't really know, but blood tests show. The current evidence suggests that the virus spreads through the lymph system, reproducing and attacking cells on a catastrophic scale. Attacking? More precisely, expressing a series of normally dormant uh, proto onc Stop! Yeah, I don't want right to. Right there! Did you see something? Hold on. We could be friends now, site. can't we? Did you see something? Yeah. 
Ya. Hey, Doc. Yeah? I never got that. Got what? The whole stage one, stage two, stage three thing. What do you mean? I mean the virus is what it is, right? No, it's more complicated than that. Now let me... Okay. I know I'm a grunt. Before the freak show, I was a biology major. Just give me the gist. Really? Try me. Okay. We don't really know, but blood tests show. The current evidence suggests that the virus spreads through the limb system, reproducing and attacking cells on a catastrophic scale. Attacking? More precisely, expressing a series of normally dormant proto-oncogenes into an active state. What the cancer. hell is she doing? Look at him. Look at all of them. That look like cancer to you? Maybe you're really bad. No. No, no this is something far worse. What do you mean? This virus is on a mission. The freaks are what they are because the virus wants them that way. What are you saying? I'm saying... Jesus, what am I saying? Terrorism? You're saying this was deliberate? I don't know. Is, that it? Is she done? Yeah. Okay, time to get the hell out of Dodge. Did you see something? I don't want to shoot.
Whatever the hell it is, or what, what it's doing. I want to know what the hell's going on, O'Brien. Why are they out here? What the fuck are you doing? O'Brien! Okay. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Oh boy, this is gonna get old fast. Hey, Ricky, you said you had a job for me? Hey, Deke. Yeah. You remember Shane Riley? Everyone called him Red? Red Riley. Yeah, never heard of him, but let me guess. Ginger? What? Red hair? No. It was his boots. He wore these rattlesnake boots dyed with god-awful red color. He made quite the impression. No, <laughs> no. I bet. Anyway, he used to do runs for us back in the day until one day he decides he didn't like the camp credits we were paying. So he up and kills Lindsay Fuller. Who? Lindsay. Work supply before Blair? Wait a second, so he killed an unarmed woman? Oh, she was armed. She just wasn't expecting him to shoot her in the face. Will you listen? So Red murders her, cleans out her supply hut, and then takes off before anyone knows what's happened. Got away clean. Oh, that son of a bitch. Until now. He and his men have been spotted up at Camp Pioneer. You don't gotta ask. I, uh, I got this thing about, um... About killing unarmed women, I know. So I knew you'd want to handle it. Yeah, like I said, I got this covered. Um, what else can you tell me about him? Not much. Oh, wait. He chews tobacco. I heard he was such an addict that he rounds up cigarette butts, takes out the tobacco, and chews that. Well, that's disgusting. So now I got two reasons to kill him. Yeah, but be careful, Deke. Looking to buy, I hope. Just looking for some stuff.
It's like Boozer says, you hear a bunk calling my name. That should do it. Oh, I'm just going to close my eyes for a bit. I was at work. Last day, it turned out. Behind the counter at a small coffee joint in Farewell. And warnings had gone out, but no one was really listening these first few days. In the morning, a woman pushes into the shop. I Tearing at his throat. I didn't stick around to see what happened next. How's it going? Just looking around.
Hello. Where? Open up. Don't got all day. Can I help you? I make a good book someday. The Freaker War. Something. I don't know.
There we go. Addy, you there? Dick and St. John to Lost Lake Infirmary. Come back. Dick! Hey, uh, feeling a little out of it, you know. You okay? What's going on? Boozer. Hey, uh, nothing. I, uh, got tired of listening to the radio free Oregon. Can only take so much of his truth or bullshit, you know? Dick, uh, Eddie told me how I'd be dead if it weren't for you. Getting the N.I. whatever the fuck, so... Uh, Boozer, I, uh... It must have been fun. Uh, holding me down while she fucking whacked away at me. <laughs> Remember how, uh, how Jack carved up that turkey last time we was all together? <laughs> it kept slipping all over the goddamn table. Yeah, Booze, man. I remember. I still feel it. Worse than the Rippers. If, if you hadn't been there to, to hold me down, I don't <laughs> 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 Addy, you there? Dick and St. John to Lost Lake Infirmary. Come back. Dick! Hey, uh, feeling a little out of it, you know. You okay? What's going on? Boozer. Hey, uh, nothing. I, uh, got tired of listening to the radio free Oregon. Can only take so much of his truth or bullshit, you know? Dick, uh, a Addy told me. How I'd be dead if it weren't for you. Getting the N.I. whatever the fuck, so... Uh, Boozer, I, uh... It must have been fun. Uh, holding me down while she fucking whacked away at me. <laughs> Remember how, uh... How Jack carved up that turkey last time we was all together? <laughs> it kept slipping all over the table. Booze, man. I remember. I still feel it, you know? Knife. Worse than the Rippers. If, if you hadn't been there to, to hold me down, I don't know what would have happened to you. I don't know. Well, it's done, Boozer. It's done. It's over. Ah, uh, Deke. Uh, sorry, I'm feeling, feeling a little woozy. Yeah. Uh, hey, Addie's gonna kill me if she finds out you're out of bed fucking around. Yeah, I... I hear a bunk, uh, calling my name. Lost Lake signing off. Hey, listen, Boozer. Boo Shit. Come on! 
I can use this. There we go. Hey, Ricky, I'm at Camp Pioneer, and it is a goddamn war zone. What's going on? Are any of our guys there? Uh, no, I don't think so. It sounds like they're clearing freaks. Uh, don't worry. I'll find this guy. Deacon out. Where the hell are you? <clears throat> newts. Oh, wow, well, they're killing newts. Okay, what's this? Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, yes, yes, cigarette butts, yes. Like uh, the kind of prince yeah. that's a fancy cowboy. Men coming. They're down. They're down.
that's tobacco spit. Right, Riley, you are one gross motherfucker. More boot prints. Yeah, this way. Could make something out of this. See you running around. <laughs> Oh, good. You're in. Jesus. Well, if you gotta go, you gotta go. Down, I'm moving back! 
I'm at Camp Pioneer, and it is a goddamn war zone. What's going on? Are any of our guys there? Uh, no, I don't think so. Sounds like they're clearing freaks. Uh, don't worry. I'll find this guy. Deacon out. There we go. Shit. Come 
lost out. I'm at Camp Pioneer, and it is a goddamn war zone. What's going on? Are any of our guys there? Uh, no, I don't think so. Sounds like they're clearing freaks. Uh, don't worry. I'll find this guy. Deacon out. But I am alive. Ricky, I'm at Camp Pioneer, and it is a goddamn war zone. What's going on? Are any of our guys there? Uh, no, I don't think so. Sounds like they're clearing freaks. Uh, don't worry. I'll find this guy. Deacon out. Ricky, I'm at Camp Pioneer, and it is a goddamn war zone. What's going on? Are any of our guys there? Uh, no, I don't think so. Sounds like they're clearing freaks. Uh, don't worry. I'll find this guy. Deacon out.
How's it going? What was that?
tracks. No, no, no. Oh, sniper. So I guess you won't be ambushing anyone else today. Murderers and thieves, the lot of you. How many people you killed today, huh? The hell's my hey, hey, Ricky. I got him. Deacon, what a relief. Lindsay has some folks she was close to. I'll let him know. Yeah, okay. I'll see you around, Ricky. Ago, we were up by crazy
Deke, I've been uh, thinking about what you were saying about doing something to make a difference around here, pay back the camp. I'm listening. Do you got a few minutes? I want to show you something. Yeah, guess I can spare you a minute or two. So where are we heading? You ever been out to the caves north of the lake? I know. Come on, see if you can keep up. Okay, let's go. I got marsh duty anyway this morning. Gotta see if any freaks are stuck in the muck out that way. When's the last time you went up there? In a few years, I guess. When I was a boy, we used to live in that damn cave. The old man sort of fancied himself a geologist. Sounds like we got a couple. Freaks stuck in the mud, I mean. Yeah, sounds like. Here, let me. Made that. Nice work. Big Schizo's just found a new man for the job. You know what Schizo can go do. Anyway, as I was saying, we spent hours talking about how all these caves were formed when lava flows would harden on the outside, but the molten cores would still flow like buried rivers. You got the big caves that drew in the tourists, like Metolius up there. There's way more than that. Riddled all over these parts. Okay, okay, we're coming up on the highway. We gotta be quiet. Jesus Christ! This is why you brought me out of here? You smell a bunch of goddamn freaks? Yeah. Okay, okay. Come on, follow him. Wait, wait, wait. Follow him? Where the hell are we going? You'll see. Come on. Now don't get too close. Stay down. What the hell are we doing, Deke? This doesn't seem all that smart, even for a goddamn drifter. Hold up, hold up. You remember telling me about how the tourists used to flood up from California in the summer, choke off Highway 97 and the I-5 freeway? Yeah, in July, folks smelled almost as bad as these here freaks. But you weren't wrong about one thing. These freaks, the big groups, the ones that some call hordes, I think they're the reason we can't get their numbers down. What do you mean? Think about it, man. I've been out here in the shit collecting bounties for more than a year. Oozer too. Ricky, Schizo, a few others. How many freaks you think I killed? A few. A few. Yeah, but their numbers never go down. You got a point? It's these hordes. Every night, there's a steady stream of them up and down the Sanium Highway. Thousands of freaks pouring into the Lost Lake Valley, north of the Cascades. And you think they're coming up from California? I always closed off. No one's been south of the Santium Pass in years. It's not closed off to the hordes. Freaks are the reason it's closed off. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the hordes come in every night. Not a goddamn thing we can do to stop them. Well, you got that much right. Lost more than a few men trying to back in the day. Yeah, I know. I was there. And every horde that comes through leaves a few stragglers or gets busted up and scatters and, and just like that, freaks everywhere as far as the eye can see. You don't need to see them to know that they're around. We figure out a way to stop the hordes coming through, maybe we can make some headway, reduce their numbers. Make it safer. Free up more farmland, irrigation. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do that? You know goddamn well you can't take on a, a, a whatever you call it, a, a horde?
This is how. I'll be goddamn. Yeah. They stand there all day, hibernating or whatever the hell freaks do. So what are you thinking that we? Yep. We blow it the hell up. Stick it down right there, there, and there. We'll bring down a mountain of rock. We seal this shit up. Yeah, so we trap a few hundred inside. What good is that gonna no, do? No, no, you don't get it. We seal this cave. Maybe they don't got no place to sleep. Or maybe this trail of piss and shit dries out, goes stale, and others stop coming. Yeah. All right. All right. You got my attention. Okay, come on, let's head back. These are warmed up a bit. Let's see if you can keep up. Yeah, okay. Tell me, when does being out in the shit make you an expert on freaks? You spend your spare time just following them around, seeing what makes them tick? Not exactly. And how do you know about all this? About what a horde's gonna do, where they sleep? A few days ago, I was riding north of Belknap Crater when a chopper flew by. A chopper? What the hell? Just listen to me. It was a black chopper. One of those Nero choppers that used to fly all over the goddamn place when the shit was going down. And you saw one, still flying. I followed him. I stole one of their radios. I've been trying to track him down, see if they have a base around here. Supplies. Shit, I mean, see if the feds are still alive, you know what I'm saying? They're out here doing field work of some kind on the freaks. They're studying them. They got resources to do that while we're out here starving, fighting to stay alive. I followed them up to the grotto caves. You know the ones? Yeah. They had motion sensors set up, measuring how many freaks used the cave during the day. And, uh, Mike, it was thousands. That right. They said freaks all up and down the Cascade Range, south of Crater Lake and north up to Smith Rock, all use these lava tube caves to hibernate. So, we blow up those caves, maybe we have a few less to deal with. Hey, this idea of yours, it's got some merit, but job like that. It's gonna take a fair amount of TNT. He said you wanted help making Lost Lake safer. This is how we do it. <sighs> All right. All right, look. There's some things I gotta do, okay? But you meet me at the bridge in a couple of minutes. I know where we can find some. St. John. You were supposed to be up at the farm an hour ago. My guy said he's got a shovel waiting for you. Yeah, Schizo, about that, I'm busy. See, Iron Mike and I, we're just heading out on a run. You and Iron Mike? You'll get your ass up that way today. Or you and your gimp boyfriend are gonna find yourselves out in the shit. You hear me? Without a goddamn battle. Yeah, yeah, I'll get right on that. St. John out. A few weeks back, we were riding west along the old Belknap Road. We ran into a bunch of crazy assholes, almost naked, all scarred up, like they took a knife. I wonder about the freaker sometimes, you know?
Ready? Where are we headed? This time you're gonna have to trust me. Okay, where are we going? You know what they used to mine all around these parts? Yeah, uh, mercury or something. That's right, cinnabar. They extracted mercury from cinnabar. Folks back east think it was gold mines out here and silver. Not so. Back in the early 1900s, cinnabar was worth more than gold. To operate the mine, you need TNT for expansion, blowing out new tunnels, clearing cave-ins, that sort of shit. And to own TNT, you had to register with the county, keep copies of the keys to all your lockboxes with the commissioner. Wait, the county courthouse? Where the hell is that? Thought you knew. It's in the old federal building. The old federal building? The one in Sherman's camp? Jesus, Mike. What the hell? You told me... You, you told me that you were never setting foot in that place again. Did I? I don't recall. You were drunk right after... Joe was killed. Did I tell you why? No. Here. Turn right here. This is it. Mike. The place is going to be crawling. I don't, I don't think this is a good idea. Uh, weather holds will be safe enough. All right, that there, it's the old federal building. That's where we're headed. Let's not go looking for trouble. Stay out of the buildings. Come on, we gotta head over this way. Where are we headed? Just follow me. Key will be on the commissioner. And, and you know where he is? <laughs> where his body is? Yeah, yeah I think I do. You heard what happened here. Yeah, everybody got wiped out, man, woman, and child. Only a few got out, and and uh, you you were one of them, right? Only two got out, me and Nora. But it wasn't the freaks that took us out. And what do you mean? Here. Has called a truce, a meeting, right here. Oh, we knew what was coming. We knew what was coming, and we were prepared. Fight didn't last long, but it was bad. They had ammunition left after all, and how well, they... Oh, hell, you can see what they did. Like I said, two people walked out of this town after all was said and done. And some days... the hell one of them wasn't me. Commissioner's over there in the bean counter suit. Go get the key so we can get the hell out of here. You didn't give a damn about sealing the caves. You brought me here be... You, you brought me here because you wanted me to see this. Not true. All right, you got the key. We're gonna go get the maps to those mines, just like I said, and we're gonna get more than enough TNT to seal every cave in the valley. Bullshit. You are right about one thing. I'm not sorry you've seen it. Not following you, Mike. I am talking about the war that's coming. With the Rippers. The one that Schizo's so hot for. You 
Cares how many die on either side. Never mind. Come on, let's get this done. Here's the door. Locked tight. Place is locked up tight. Come on. Hmm. Gotta find the stairs. Smells like something died in here. Newts. Yeah, I smell them. Bad business. Never much like kids. They always tended to get on my nerves. It was always a sore spot between me and my Elizabeth. Okay. All right, this is it. Now we got maps to every mine in the county showing where they stored their dynamite. Okay, come on. Hear that? Yeah. Weren't you expecting anyone? Nope. Do you have my back here? Hey, I don't like starting trouble, but I'll finish it if I have to. Stay behind me. Hey, I could take care of myself. I'm not saying you can't, but remember the last time that we were out in the shit. Yeah, like I said, I'm staying behind you. I saw something. Who the hell's shooting?
Jesus, what a mess! Now you know why no one goes into Sherman's camp. Eddie finds out you're out here risking your ass like this, she's gonna be pissed. Now how would she find out about something like that? Not from me. About the rippers, why you wanted me to see that shit. You know, Deke, I always saw a bit of myself in you. Back in the day. How's that? You don't give a shit. Oh, you care about your friend. You don't want to see him die, but me? Any other goddamn person on the planet? I don't think so. Caring will just get you killed. Yeah, that's right. The thing is, not caring will get you killed just as easy. Good folks of Sherman Camp did was stop caring about anyone but themselves and their own. Easy to kill a man when he's just some piece of meat standing between you and what you need. Schizo wants to kill Rippers because he don't think they're human anymore. They don't count. They're standing in the way of what he wants. Well, I don't buy into that shit. I won't have it. You know, Schizo, he, uh, he wonders why I'm a pacifist. That's, you know, that's what he likes to call me. He, uh, he thinks I'm gonna get everybody killed. Well, are you, Mike? Are you gonna get everyone killed? Freaks aren't gonna be around forever. Now, when they're gone, we're gonna need some folks around here to help pick up the pieces. Hey, look, hey, hey. I don't like Carlos and his rippers any more than I like Tucker or, or, or Copeland and his, his, his goddamn truthers. All right, but here, look. Here's the thing, Deke. I'm not going out of my way to kill any of them. I've had my share of killing. Even if Carlos comes for you, My truce will hold. You can bet on that.
going to bet on the Yatrice uh, ain't going to hold. Now, for once, I agree with Schizo. The Rippers, they ain't human. Not anymore. Holding it. I guess I should uh, go check on him. Hope he's awake. It's D. Let him in. St. John, this is Lost yeah. Lake. Come in. Yeah, Mike, this is Deke. Richard brought in Shane Riley, but when I went to the shack to question him, he wasn't there. Uh, yeah, uh, about that, Mike. I tried to bring him in. I really did, but he, uh, well, he put up a hell of a fight. So he didn't leave me much choice, Mike. He didn't. Uh, you remember what I said about how we do things around here? Yeah, yeah, Mike, I remember. Lost Lake out. Thanks, Ricky. Deke, you gotta hurry. Ricky, what's going on? That guy we've been looking for, Eric Lynch, who, who murdered Camel and Reed at the farm. The Lynch man. Son of a bitch. You know where he is? Yes, uh, yeah. He's on the north shore of the old Lynch. Schizo wanted to go after him, but Iron Mike said to get you. I'll get you. You there? Another job came up. Ricky, yeah, um, okay, I'll stop by. St. John out. <sighs> Hold on, I never did finish burning out this nesting zone.
And I smell it. <sighs> it's got to be getting close. Okay. Brian, I'm at one of your beacons, the one outside of Rogue Camp. Drifter, uh, uh, St. John, I mean, uh, copy that. Why am I here? I show, uh, Hilo incoming to that location now. Be ready. O'Brien out. Uh, psh, that's why I'm here. St. John, they should have arrived at your location. Do you see them? Yeah, yeah, kind of hard to miss. What do you need me to do? Get close to the researcher. Remember, you have to stay in their proximity or I can't intercept their data. Okay, yeah, I get it. Let me know when the LZ is locked down. And this time, I need you to plant one of those trackers on our helo. They're chopper. Okay, let's get this done. I know done. what helo is, O'Brien. And you better have something for me. I got someone I trust working on it. Okay, so, I gotta place a tracker. Stop on the old Belknap Road. What was that called again? Ah, oh, Crazy Willies. Yes, very rustic and touristy. Some things about the old world I don't miss. But Crazy Willies, south of the Belknap Crater. I got a question, Doc. Sure, it's not like I'm busy or anything. The nests. Why do they build them? We don't know. Why do they only build them in, you know, buildings, structures, cabins, things like that? We have a theory that... We never see them where wild animals would build them. In trees or out in the wilderness, only houses. Okay, you finished? Sorry. The guys back at the lab have a theory. I'm sure when they're ready to talk about it, they'll come rushing down to the barracks to let you know. Jesus. Just ask it. I see things too, you know. nesting sites, including those at Marion Forks, the Pioneer Cemetery, the Cascade Highway Lumber Site, the truck stop on the old Belknap Road. What, what was that called again? Ah, uh, Crazy Willies. Yes, very rustic and touristy. Some things about the old world I don't miss. But Crazy Willies, south of the Belknap Crater. I got a question, Doc. Sure, it's not like I'm busy or anything. The nests. Why do they build them? We don't know. Why do they only build them in, you know, buildings, structures, cabins, things like that? We have a theory that... I mean, we never see them where wild animals would build them. In trees or out in the wilderness, only houses. You finished? Sorry. The guys back at the lab have a theory. I'm sure when they're ready to talk about it, they'll come rushing down to the barracks to let you know. Jesus. Just ask it. I see things too, you know. It wasn't always a crunch. south of Belknap Crater. Some areas of the Belknap Wilderness were not surveyed due to the proximity of nesting sites to human encampments. In particular, a large camp at... Salome Hot Springs. Oh. Okay, okay. I'm leaving. Wasn't even my turn on the duty run.